Hello seekers, welcome to another video. Now Venus will make its move in the Aquarius zodiac sign on 7th of March until 31st of March Venus will be in Aquarius. Now what is Venus in Aquarius mean? You have to understand that Venus is a planet of love, affection, relationship. It's a planet that defines our value system in the family. It is the planet that rules the material success of, of our life and our existence, how we value the stuff, how we connect with the reality. It is the, it is the partnership that we establish with the nature. And when such Venus, the, the ruler of Taurus and Libra goes in Aquarius, it tries to adjust in the highly Saturnian environment. Now Aquarius is definitely the 11th house of Kalpurush representing social values, social circles, being in public, being in group, working as a team, your gains, your salary. So definitely Aquarius being one of the, uh, you can say the, the frontiers of Kama Trikon, the trine of desire, Venus in Aquarius will definitely trigger desire, it will increase your expectations, not only from yourself, but from others. But you have to remember one thing that Aquarius is the Moolatrikon zodiac sign of Shani. And because of that, it's like the office of Saturn. And in the office of Saturn goes Venus, the planet that has nothing to do with the Saturnian qualities. And that planet, when goes in the Aquarian, there may be a, a, a certain degree of superficial expression. Uh, say, somebody is laughing, somebody is smiling, but deep within, he or she is in trouble. But because of the social setup, there is a little bit of fakeness or mask that the Venus has to put on when it is in Aquarius. Although it is very good for social media, very good for publicity, event management, when you are showing your face, media line, journalism, acting, cinema, anything related to these industries or anywhere where you are branding yourself, Venus in Aquarius is very good. Say if you want to rebrand your company, if you want to redesign your logo, if you want to launch a company or if you want to restructure the, the hierarchy, if you want to relaunch the, the website, if you want to create an app, see all these things is possible when Venus is in Aquarius. But Aquarius is highly practical in nature. It is a Vayu Tattva Rashi, it is also co-ruled by Rahu. So here the energies are more like I want rather than I can give. And when Venus goes there, it kind of creates this emotion where you would want to get rather than give. Although Venus will be in a very good position with respect to its own zodiac sign, with Taurus its 10th, with Libra its 5th. That means it is in Aquarius, it is going to achieve and establish connections which will balance your business, which will give rise to your positive energy, which will also establish connections where Maybe uh, if you are dating, you might meet someone, your life partner, your prospect. It is very good for romantic relationships. On, and on the other hand, with respect to Taurus, when it goes in the 11th house, imagine like this, that in Kalpurush, the second lord is going in the 11th house. This means you will reinvest your earning, you will, your assets, your bank account, your money that is with you, your securities will start giving you gains. That means you will see things in positive direction but only if you accept Venus in the circumstance of Saturn. That means Venus with practicality, no compassion, Venus with a, a little bit of competition and Venus which is ready to do sacrifice. See, this is the boundary where Venus is changed forever. We know Venus as Shukracharya, the, the, Dev, the Daitya Guru, the Guru of the demons. Venus is said to trap you in Maya. This when Venus, when it goes in Aquarius, goes into the ultimate Venusian expression of Shukracharya. That means when Venus goes in Aquarius, it interacts with Saturnian energy, which also obviously starts with Capricorn, but in Aquarius it is more like it is executing things and it is shedding off its own characteristic of you know, trying to always achieve, 
trying to be non-humanitarian, jealousy, all that will drop off. So if you show jealousy, Saturn will stop it. And you should not forget that when Venus enters into Aquarius, it meets both Mars and Saturn. First, it will meet Saturn and Sun for a week. And after that, from mid-March, it will encounter Mars and Saturn both in Aquarius and for certain degree until Venus crosses the degree of Saturn Mars and Saturn will hem the Venus in between that means you will be backed by the energy but you will have to solve a certain degree of of problems before you actually achieve something through Aquarius so it is both a mix it's a mixed bag of emotion it's a mixed bag of relationship and you see that when Venus is in this particular zodiac sign it kind of kind of wants to perform has the resources but if not practical will hit a wall so it's like you know there there is a question paper and the two hard questions or say four hard questions in the question paper defines the difference between an average performer and a genius because uh, easy questions can be answered by many people but the moment a difficult question comes where you need that skill only few will be able to crack it and that is how the grading system works I'm not patronizing what is the education structure I'm just giving an example Sim similarly if Venus is in Aquarius people who will continuously extract Venus the way Venus has given that means all the glorious things all the glamorous things and you know all uh, through jealousy through comparison then Venus is not going to work Venus in Aquarius is very humanitarian Venus is in the office of Saturn and Venus has to follow the rules of Saturn Venus Venus's own rules perishes here and Saturn wants justice activism so you might see that social activism will pick up most more uh, very, very powerful during this time gender values will uh, be redefined during this time Venus in Aquarius will aspect Leo so so you will see that uh, roles and responsibilities of people will be restructured redefined this is a great time for career development this is a great time for say UI UX designers uh, this is a very good time for celebrities, artists, but a very bad time for someone who has been enjoying the power of Venus, say somebody who has exalted Venus and has never become practical. So welcome this Venus with a pinch of salt. This Venus is uh, going to spread love, but a practical love with a passion. So somebody who is going to speak the truth will come out and show its might and I'm not talking about a person or an entity I'm talking about different facets of life people who have strong Venus in their birth chart will see some practical things and you will have to accept people with Venus in Virgo for them it's a brilliant opportunity because you have already seen the harsher side of Venus and when Venus goes with Saturn you will be easily able to win and this is actually uh, the Venus trying to cancel out all the negativity that is there in the your birth chart people with Venus and Rahu connection Venus in Rahu nakshatra Venus aspected by Rahu Venus with Rahu should be extra careful because your Venus is full of illusion this Venus is full of practicality so certain decisions that you take might be countered by a practical understanding of life during this time this might create relationship issues also uh, because you know sometimes uh, you have assumed something and now you see the real face and you are not able to accept it so the more you are accepting the more you are inclusive the better this Venus will perform the more you are judgmental the more you are segregative the more you are div divisive in nature the Venus will not perform for you very well for countries who are having Taurus as Lagna like India this is this is going to be geopolitically very very positive time this is going to establish new diplomatic connections and if you are a diplomat if you are into government services this Venus will help you 
uh, establish certain connection now this obviously does not want that does not mean that everything will happen the way you want but this is what you need so you will always see me saying that it is planets know what you deserve and what you need but what you want may not be what you need and this venus shows what you need so if you meditate and focus and go for a minimalistic lifestyle this venus and saturn will give you exceptional results it is going to not only provide stability but it is also going to tell you how to love the ugly truth let's understand for each ascendant what this venus has to offer please subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so that you don't miss another update for consultations you can drop me an email you can follow me on social media platforms all the links are in the description box below and if you want to join me on patreon where i am uploading nakshatra pada based transit results very interesting uh, something that uh, i don't think anybody has done before where i will divide the nakshatra transit into further four divisions explaining pada and its connection to navamsha i have also started introduction to nakshatras in my patreon channel so if you can join the patreon channel it will be great it will also support me and you will also get deeper insights in vedic astrology there let's start ascendant wise analysis aries for aries a venus transit will happen in your 11th house this is your second and seventh lord coming in the 11th house and it's very positive it's going to give you a holistic overview of life it is going to give you a sense of connection there will be connectivity a sense of peace a sense of belonging a sense of harmony a sense of equality and this venus will make you famous this venus will make you uh, cheerful this venus will make you receptive uh, in your in your group and you will see that you will have a good time a lot of people might plan travel during this time and this is going to be really really positive it's it's going to be an exceptional transit and with respect to money financially if you take practical decisions and if you compromise with your expenses a bit you can easily easily stabilize your income see take saturn not as a restrictive planet but as a planet that can create stability in life venus and saturn conjunction and then mars is present mars which is by the way your lagna lord is going to give you a very very strong potential to improve improve your wealth improve your income and work on your recurring income so maybe through your own assets you will be able to earn a lot during this time if any money is stuck then that may come into conclu- uh, come into resolution you will get justice if you are stuck in any divorce cases uh, the best thing that you can do is chant shukra beej mantra and also fast on fridays during this time it's a very very positive transit its effect will also be on the fifth house therefore you will feel good but yes if you want this venus to behave like an exalted venus it won't so ex- expect little bit of restriction a uh, little bit of uh, you can say confinement for this venus but you can be happy in your own home also so it's a very good time taurus now your ascendant and your sixth lord is ruled by venus and this venus goes in the 10th house this shows that your desirable career is about to come in in reality and it is something where you you were waiting for something it will be fulfilled now because venus is a fish fulfilling planet and venus is a planet that kind of removes the obstacle so in spite of it being the 6th lord it goes into the 10th house it gives you better opportunity better roles you will have a nice atmosphere in your office and you will be kind of you know accepting the situation that is around you the more accepting you become the better this venus transit in the 10th house will be for you now see when venus goes in 10th house which is absolutely not the right place for venus but it definitely involves an atmosphere of uh, of care affection you you will see that you will be recognized you will be appreciated in this and uh, this is going to be a time when you will work on your relationship so if you really want to mend things if you really want to make things beautiful this is the time so i correlate venus saturn in 10th house as uh, someone who is gardening the flowers you know hands will get dirty you may have to deal with the mud 
but after some time after watering the plants what you get is beautiful flowers a nice garden and that is actually venusian so this is where saturn which is soil comes in contact with venus which is flower and therefore your hard work will pay off during this time because venus aspects your fourth house matters in your home also will become uh, happy better more understanding and uh, relationship issues will also resolve during this time especially with your supervisor your boss even with your father so overall venus in 10th house is something that can give you recognition that can give you happiness peace within the boundary that you exist in gemini now in case of gemini venus rules your 12th house venus rules your 5th house this venus goes in the 9th house and this is a beautiful transit it's a transit that will pay off if you have done lot of hard work remember that saturn also rules your 8th house and mars rules your 11th house so expect a travel a work related travel expect that you will be recognized for your belief for your hard work you if you if you believe in yourself you can actually make big changes especially in your career during this time because you know your passion will be as solid as a rock as a mountain and then you will also be able to conquer all the problems because that's the nature of ninth house it helps you it guides you and uh, venus being the fifth lord shows that you will bring all your learning and experience into action and you will be appreciated and recognized in your workplace because of that now add martian energy to this venus from mid of march and you will see that the presence of sun in the 10th house the presence of mars in the 9th house along with 5th house lord venus uh, is like something which you can capitalize upon you can work on these energies for your business for your career your expression your decisions will become positive and you will see that you will become somebody who will love to follow the dharma i will correlate this transit to someone who is climbing the mountains because on one he has to face all the challenges but the moment he reaches the summit the mountaineer reaches the summit it is a sh pure sheer joy and victory and the view must be very beautiful from the top but imagine the hard work it takes imagine the conditioning it takes imagine the faith and dedication it takes that is how you should work everybody should be a, a mountaineer during this time maybe you are not climbing a real mountain but you are going to climb the mountain of success cancer for kark lagna you will see that venus will move in your 8th house now venus is a yoga karaka planet it's your 4th and 11th lord when it goes in your 8th house it definitely has some secrets to unfold it has some potential to bring change in your life and remember that it is with your saturn therefore this is going to affect your marriage this is going to affect the way you you interact with your spouse how you behave in the matters of love this is the uh, a, a kind of a transit that can lay the foundation of very deep and long lasting relationship affection and it's a great time to do any sadhana because when saturn and venus goes in 8th house it is like the transit of mahayogi if you can core if you can meditate and connect with the cosmos your networking will be not only of this world but of something beyond this now for people who are involved in business who want to bring in investors or who wants to invest their money it's a great time but again you have to understand that venus and saturn talks about enjoying the necessity enjoying the minimalistic life enjoying the nature rather than focusing on the materialistic desire so how you're investing why are you investing are you investing in safer instruments or are you investing in risky instruments will matter a lot during this time now when your 11th lord is in your 8th house this definitely shows that you will have certain issues with your elder siblings also you have to be very careful when you are dealing or when you are interacting with people you will get a lot of opinion you will get a lot of criticism during this time take it in a healthy manner take it as a constructive criticism and you will see something positive waiting for you leo for leo venus goes in your 7th house along with saturn your 7th lord so definitely uh, when venus goes in the 7th house it meets both 7th and 1st lord venus is your 10th lord so actually all kendra planets are together in the 7th house which means that you are kind of dominated heavily by the circumstances and you are 
trying to find relief and this relief will come because of the presence of venus this is definitely going to in, impact your marriage your business partnerships and uh, what you have to do is you will have to work really hard towards building a rapport building a strong bond and strong relationship ego should be avoided your ascendant lord is moving from 7th to 8th house while venus will be in your 7th house which is in the sign of aquarius which means that you need to do a lot of self introspection you need to do a lot of research and you should be ready for change depending upon the feedback especially for people who are running a startup who have a shop you should welcome all these feedbacks because this will help you develop and become a better businessman better individual overall your 10th and 3rd lord coming in 7th house also shows new business opportunities will come uh, people who are involved in redevelopment renovation vastu who are who are kind of uh, architects will see great boost during the venus transit in the 7th house people working on the on the in the in the event management marriage related stuff will also see their career booming see venus performs well in 7th house saturn also performs well in 7th house uh, as long as soon as mars comes there it will also be okay now you see all the kendra bhav are centered in the 7th house what you have to do is you will have to work on the outside factors not inside so change your circumstance change your surrounding work on color therapy work on the energies and you will see that venus will be bringing flowers and happiness in your life virgo now for virgo venus rules your second and ninth house this goes in the sixth house this resolves debt related crisis so if you are suffering from debt related issues if you are suffering from long term disease if you are seeing that things are not moving in the right direction this venus transit is actually very very good for you this venus transit will ensure that you are moving in the right direction you are fulfilling your duty and you are doing things the way it should be done it's going to streamline your work it's going to streamline uh, the things i'm sure not in a very glorified manner but it is going to be very crude raw and practical and that is exactly what is needed at this point of time so for virgo this venus transit is more about transformation healing so go for holistic healing both mental and physical new career opportunities new job opportunities job opportunities of your liking relocation all that is possible if your horoscope allows uh, soon mars will also enter 6th house causing a bhav a, a vipreet rajyog 8th lord in 6th house and therefore the more difficulties you face the better will be your life this is definitely going to be a, a kind of a transit that will shift your existence towards positive direction but while parallelly showing you what you should not do parallelly showing you the true faces of people whom you admire or love so first appreciate yourself love yourself before you extend that that appreciation to the outside world libra now for you your ascendant lord goes in fifth house this is very good for learning practical education people who work in field people who work in lab people who work in food industry chemical industry people who work in packaging industry will see great boost during this time See when Venus goes in fifth house this is good for romance so Saturn and Venus will tell you the truth about the romantic life it will show you the reality it will tell you how to survive in the most difficult of times and and definitely this Venus which is your ascendant as well as your 8th lord shows major shift in, in your learnings in life in your overall day to day experience so what you should do is you should remain grounded and while you are grounded you should move forward in life chanting shri suktam every day visiting shani temple on saturdays are some of the remedies by which you will be able to easily maneuver through the venus transit now remember this that venus will also be backed by martian energy uh, from middle of march and mars and venus conjunction along with saturn in aquarius shows that you will be very active and you would want to execute something but you will only be able to execute something that is right for you so what you should do is go with the flow if it has at if it is meant to happen it will happen just do your karma and don't worry about the results overall uh, jupiter's presence in the 7th house is also going to help you this is going to initiate marriage and you might meet your karmic life partner during this time for students it's going to be an excellent time just that you will have to love the atmosphere love the subject like mathematics and you will be able to manage things in a pretty nice manner 
So I will say overall it's going to be a very good transit, a transit where you will love to learn. Scorpio. For Scorpio, if you observe that your ascendant lord Mars is exalt and Venus is in the fourth house and Venus happens to be your seventh and twelfth lord in fourth house. Good for buying a property, good for renovating a property, good for people who are involved into you know work from home kind of structure, people who are painters, people who are vastu experts, uh, very good for people who are architects, who are designers, who are into construction work, who are into cement industry, stone related works. And if you are into handicrafts uh, or similar kind of art and craft, you will see a great boost in your career during this time. See, Venus in fourth house is pretty good. It's kind of Venus where you would love to be in your own space. You would want to isolate yourself. You will love your own company and you will love to interact with your mother and your grandmother. This is a great time to resolve any karmic issue coming from your Pitra. So if you have a Pitra dosh, you might be uh, you might have to look into your horoscope on how to resolve. Chanting Pitra Gayatri Mantra is an excellent remedy at this point of time. Now, Saturn, Venus, Mars in 4th house, this is the cumulative energy effect. Uh, also shows that you will end up maybe thinking or buying a property, an asset, a car or a similar kind of, you know, maybe set up a factory. All that is possible when Venus will be in Aquarius zodiac sign because as soon as Venus enters Aquarius, it enters Dhanish Nakshatra. So it gives you properties, assets, happiness, peace. But you will also love your own company, your confinement, good time for journey, good time for solo trips. So meditate because meditation is going to be an excellent remedy for Scorpio natives. Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, Venus goes in your third house. Your expression becomes very romantic, very, you know, very charismatic, very influential. So if you are into the field of debate, if you are into the field of where you use your voice, if you are in the field of social media, content management, uh, social media management, content writing, UI, UX, website design, if you are into the field of uh, creating textiles, uh, boutiques, boutique owners, all will see great positive boost in your career, in your energies. A third house Venus along with Saturn creates perfection in art. It gives you that patience that is needed and Mars's enthusiasm to create one of the finest art. This art can be a beautiful project that you create in your corporate career. This art can be a nicely laid out Excel sheet where everything is up to the mark. This art can be real art, totally depend on your horoscope, but this Venus transit is a very good transit because it is the Lord of two Upachi house, sixth and 11th Lord. And when this Venus goes in third house, it kind of makes you a creative person. It kind of makes you someone who is more social, who is more inclusive. You will fight for people's cause. You will fight for the right cause, gender equality. If you will fight for people's right, all that is okay. But you have to understand one thing that you are dealing with Saturnian energies also. So you will have to heal yourself a lot. It's going to be a very healing transit and those who are healers, those who are into essential oils, those who are into sound therapies, those who are into the field of physiotherapy, sports therapy, acupuncture, acupressure will also see positive things happening in your life. A third house Venus also means that your relationship with your siblings, especially your sister, will improve. But yes, you will have to be very practical. Pride is going to be bad for you. Capricorn. See, for you, Venus will be in the second house. So definitely it is going to be very good for your finance. There is Saturn sitting there. So Saturn Venus interaction shows that you will be more conservative towards your finances. You would be saving for future. Maybe you have now bigger plans for your career. Maybe now you want to enroll into a course. Maybe you have this, uh, this learning that you need a certain quantum of money, maybe for retirement. So all this is possible. If you are thinking in that direction, this Venus is going to help you a lot. This Venus will help you work on your finances. But if you are a spendthrift, if you if you want to overspend on something, if you want to, uh, you know, prove a point by spending money, then this Venus and Saturn will put a full stop there. There can be restrictions from your own family. There can be challenges coming from your own family. So you will have to be very humble and polite. Venus is your 10th Lord. It's about your career and your career Lord goes in the second house. A chance to start a career with your family member. Maybe you can join 
your own family's career great time for people who are dentists who are physiotherapists who are smile characters it's a great time for them also venus in the second house aspects the eighth house which kind of makes you much much more comfortable with your investments much more comfortable with what you carry in life so for capricorn i will say venus transit is very good the moment mars enters in your second house it's your fourth and 11th lord enters in your second house now you see first lord fourth lord 11th lord 10th lord combined in the second house it's a big raju so it will resolve your financial crisis it will take pull you out from debt and uh, you should chant shri sukta every day if possible 16 times every day and this is a great opportunity to serve through the the money that comes to you so your money should also go for some humanitarian cause some spiritual cause so that you prove worth of of your wealth also speak right because your speech will be influential speak right eat less aquarius now for aquarius venus will be in your first house a first house venus is very effective it makes you charismatic it works on your personality it makes you likable it works on your physical aura and with saturn being there it kind of acts as a healing force it gives you an opportunity to uh, you know sharpen your skill bring that finesse and you know with that charm of old age people who are above 36 will see the brighter side of the venus transit in aquarius in the first house and because this is your ninth lord coming in the first house you will get favors from your father from your guru there may be some restrictions clauses attached to it but still you will be able to manage lot Uh, if you if you do a little bit of compromise now with mars coming in the first house your career will favor you will become popular so basically you are kind of most welcome during this time venus in the first house venus in the first house is also a kind of transit where it heals the saturn energy see saturn in the first house don't function really well it is in aquarius so it is kind of managing but venus energies coming there kind of heals the and fills the gap and you will be in a much better and peaceful state just you have to ensure that when venus exits out of saturn's domain that means crosses the saturn's degree it's mars and saturn collision happening so don't uh, live in cloud 9 if you are getting everything still stay grounded because if you start flying high mars and saturn's war can quickly turn the table this may increase greed this for some people this may give a sense of entitlement be aware of that pisces now for pisces venus goes in the 12th house now what good placement of venus venus sun and saturn in the 12th house then sun coming in the first house then mars entering the 12th house see this is going to increase your expenses but this is also going to remind you how to control your expense how to bring that under control chanting vishnu sahasra naam and lalita sahasra naam is an excellent remedy at this point of time obviously people who want to travel abroad who want to you know go for some leisure trips things are positive but you have to be very careful about your expenses you should be more careful about the mercury transit in the first house mercury rahu combination the video will come soon for that mercury rahu combination in the first house may make you think deep imagine something and then you will stay in that imagination venus in 12th house will make you feel that you are very happy so to for certain people who have afflicted moon afflicted sun this is an excellent time because this kind of relieves you from all the tension and gives you that a, a reality check but still a kind of a fantasy reality check but for others don't live in fantasy come to the practicality the saturn's role is that only but when mars goes in the 12th house it shows that Uh, you would want to spend you would want to travel it can make you restless so for that i will say your ascendant is the ascendant where venus gets exalted wait for venus to come on your ascendant and it will give you the result that you desire and until then go with the flow take care of your health because health is basically wealth eighth lord in 12th house means there can be health related challenges lifestyle issues will dominate so correct your lifestyle focus on your metabolism and you will see that you will be able to manage lot there will be certain sacrifices so sacrifice bad things and pray to ma mahakali